This video provides an overview of upgrading your vCenter server system to vSphere 5.0. This video is based off Knowledge Base Article 2004265 and the vSphere Upgrade Guide. In order to get started, you will want to make sure that you meet the minimum requirements for vSphere 5.0. If you are currently using vCenter Server 2.5 Update 6 or vCenter 4.0, you must first migrate your server to a 64-bit operating system. To get started, log into your vCenter server as an administrator. Mount the vSphere 5.0 media to your machine and click on the Auto Run EXE in the root folder of the CD DVD ROM drive. Select vCenter Server option from the VMware product installers on the left hand side and click the Install button. Select the default language for the installation and click OK. At the welcome screen to the installation wizard for VMware vCenter Server, click Next. You will then be asked to accept the end user patent agreement. Click Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. In the Customer Information screen, enter the name of your organization. For the license key, you'll need to enter that. For this example, we are just going to leave it blank. Click Next to continue. Verify your database credentials and press Next to continue. For example here, we are using the internal SQL Express database. At the screen that identifies you have an older version of Update Manager installed, click OK. We will upgrade your update manager later in this video. Choose to upgrade an existing vCenter server database. If you want to start fresh, you can choose Do Not Upgrade. However, this video assumes you want to do a complete upgrade from an older version of vCenter server, so click Next. For the vCenter agent upgrade, choose Automatic and click Next. In the vCenter server service window, enter the proper credentials for the service. VMware advises that you choose the local system account here unless you have a specific need to do otherwise. Leave the default program locations as is and click Next. There shouldn't be any reason this should be changed unless you have a need to modify the location at this time. On the Configure Ports screen, leave everything default and click Next. At the Configure Ports for Inventory service, click Next to continue. VMware advises leaving this at default unless you have a need to change them. At the vCenter Server JVM Memory screen, select the desired inventory size based on your environment and click Next to continue. At the Ready to Install a Program screen, click Install. Note, if your vCenter Server manages hosts in which you will create more than 2048 cloned virtual machines, select the option to increase the number of ports. Otherwise, click the Install button. The installation will begin. There should be no more user interaction required. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. Now we need to upgrade Update Manager in your vCenter server. Click the vCenter Update Manager options on the left hand menu and click the Install button to begin the installation. Select the installation language and click OK to continue. Click OK to verify you are upgrading Update Manager. On the Welcome to the Install Shield wizard for VMware vCenter Update Manager, click Next. On the End User Patent Agreement, click Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. Note, the functionality of Update Manager 5.0 has changed from Update Manager 4x. Update Manager 5.0 no longer supports patching of virtual machines. Click Next to continue. In the vCenter Server Information dialog window, enter the username and password of the administrator that connects to vCenter Server. For this example, we will be upgrading the SQL Express database instance. Click Next to continue. Choose to upgrade the database unless you desire to start fresh. In this example, we will upgrade. Click Next to continue. Select the default vCenter Update Manager port settings and click Next. At the Ready to Install the Program window, click Install. The upgrade no longer requires any user interaction. Once the installation has completed, click the Finish button. Now that we have Update Manager installed, let's install the new vSphere client. Click the vSphere client option on the left hand menu. Click the install button to begin the installation of the vSphere client. Select the desired installation language and click OK to continue. At the Welcome to the Installation wizard for VMware vSphere Client 5.0, click Next to continue. Accept the end user patent agreement by clicking Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. Now enter the organization name and click Next to continue. 
At the Ready to Install the Program screen, click Install. Wait for the installation to complete. At the Installation Completed screen, click Finish. Finally, we are now ready to install the Update Manager plugin that goes into the vSphere client. Launch the vSphere client. Log in as an administrator to the vCenter server. Once inside the vSphere client, go to Plugins, then Manage Plugins. Click on the Download and Install link for the VMware vCenter Update Manager extension. Select the default language and click OK. On the Welcome screen, click Next. Select Next if you agree to the terms of the license agreement. At the Ready to Install the program, click Install. Once the installation is completed, click Finish. After a moment, you will see the VMware vCenter Update Manager extension is installed and enabled. You can now close the Plugin Manager window. Click on the Home menu. You will now see the Update Manager has been installed and an icon is available under Solutions and Applications tab on the home page. Your upgrade is now complete. For more videos like this one, visit our website at www.vmware.com and thank you for choosing VMware.